Okay, today Nick and me are going to uh, put a new hydraulic, auxiliary hydraulic pump in the 285 today and we're going to check the PTO. The PTO seems to be turning uh, when you shut it off and so uh, there's something wrong in the PTO. So we're going to be checking it. We're, so what we're doing is installing a new auxiliary pump and checking the PTO. So to do that, we have to go inside, and so we're going to split it here. And to do that, we have to remove the seat and the top cover to get access to a line that comes forward from the auxiliary pump. Okay, we're going to take loosen these two nuts under here, 11 16 inch nut wrench, and take these two nuts off here so that we can remove the seat. Now we're going to remove the seat. Okay, we're going to remove uh, this here left step so that we have access to the PTO plate here. So we're going to remove these two bolts here. And there's two down here on the, on the side fender here that we're going to remove here. Okay, so Nick is going to take it over to the wash bay and get it washed up. And then when he brings it back, we're going to remove the three-point hitch linkage. So we're going to take this pin out of the left link here. We're going to take this pin out of the center. We're going to take this pin here off the right linkage. And then the two bolts here that hold the couplers the hydraulic couplers onto the frame here we're going to take those off and then we can lift this whole assembly off this is actually uh, supported here with the lines and so there are a couple more lines that he's going to have to take off that feed down here okay so we're going to drain the oil and there's two drain plugs one here that we're going to drain the oil out of the transmission here and then we're going to drain the back one here out of the differential Okay, so we're going to take this line here off and another line underneath so that we can remove this whole uh, assembly of the hydraulics. Okay, we're removing the three pins here, one on the middle link here. And then we're going to remove these pins here on the top links taking the pressure off and dropping them down out of the this here is the second line going to the auxiliary control valve so we're going to take that off take this here line off right here and then that let the filter drop down here and so we'll try and fish the filter out of here Okay, we're going to remove this uh, return line with an 11 16 inch wrench. We're going to take it off the bottom of the control valve and then we're going to take it off the coming out the side cover. So we removed this auxiliary valve. The two bolts were a little bit stiff coming out, but we had to work it a little bit and then we got them off. And so we're just uh, moving this out of the way right now. So uh, you could do it by hand, but we had a hoist here, so we used the hoist to do the lifting for us. Okay, we're going to remove the top cover plate here now. So we're going to use the impact here and we're going to remove the bolts around the, the cover here. So that's going to be the next thing we do. Okay, we're ready to remove the top cover. We have the bolts all loosened here and so we're going to take the whole top cover assembly here 
and we have the hoist on here and we're going to lift it all as an assembly. Okay, so because we took the whole assembly off, we have the standpipe here that gets the oil from the uh, Scott yoke pump up here to the three-point hitch. So we're going to take these, this plate off and the tube for reinstalling. We don't need it off right now, but we're going to take it off because we're going to put the plate on and then we're going to put the tube in afterwards uh, when we're assembling it. So. That's why we're going to take this off like this and put it separate for reassembly. This is the uh, lever that controls the, the pump down there mm -hmm. for lifting and raising. And we just got to make sure that we don't sit this on it so that it gets bent. But it's, it's all okay as far as sitting here. Okay, we're going to split the tractor right here now, and so we're taking out these this row of bolts around between the tra transmission and the differential. Okay, we're going to remove the lines in here that go from the side cover to the pump, and so there's the two uh, 7 8 lines here, this one at the back, and the one at the front here, and then there's a 9 16 wrench here and here that we've got to remove too and so we'll take those out next okay so we're not sure where we left off but we're ready to make the split here so we have all these bolts out and we have the hoist lifting the front of the tractor so we have the weight on the hoist we have it jacked up on the back and there's one line in between here that we have to disconnect as we take it apart here so we're taking it apart here a little bit you can see that the crack is opening up here between and when I get a, a, a little bit of uh, that's all I can get out of the bolts here so we're now going to work in here and get that line off the wrench like this we bent a 13 16 wrench like this. And now we're going in after this nut here. And so we're gonna put it on this. We have it split a little apart to get clearance for the wrench between the nut and the uh, planetary. And then we put the wrench on it there. We put a crescent here to turn it. And so now I got it loose. So I'm trying to screw this bolt off, which is the connection of the hose. So we're just removing this to get it out of the way. This is the main shaft that drives the differential. So we're just pulling this out and we're gonna set it aside for right now. Okay, we're taking these little dowel pins out here, which, so we have to take these nuts off here to let these little plates come off, which are the dowels for the Scott Joe pump. And so we're gonna pull those little dowels out of each side. Okay, so with those out, it give us clearance to lift it up and to pull our auxiliary pump out. There's two little fittings here in the back that we have to make sure we keep because these are what connect the intake and the pressure to the uh, system. So we take these off and that is our auxiliary pump that we're uh, replacing. So we're gonna set that aside for a couple minutes. Okay, we're because we're in here, we're gonna check the PTO. And so we're pulling it apart a little bit farther. So the next thing we're gonna do is take this little line off here uh, from the control or the side cover, which is the control for the PTO to the pressure in the PTO. This is the little line that supplies oil to the 
clutch pack. So we're taking that line off right there. Taking this side cover off now. And so we're gonna loosen these here, six bolts, and pull this side cover off now. So that's what we're doing right now. So we took these six bolts out and now we're ready to remove the side cover and get this little dowel off of the PTO clutch. So that's what we took off there. And then we gotta manipulate this here. Okay, now we're ready to remove the Scotch yoke pump. And so we're gonna lift it up and Okay, so the next thing we're going to remove now is the actually the PTO clutch pack and it just sits in between that Scotch yoke pump and the uh, PTO itself. So we'll take the PTO part, pack out and that is the PTO pack there that we're after. Okay, so we're removing the snap ring here off the clutch pack of the PTO. And then we're gonna sit it away, sit it the way we take it apart. Okay, so this is the cover plate. And then we're into the fibers and the steels and so this is a fiber this is a steel and we're going to take the hub out of the middle here which gives us access to the fibers and the steels and then we're going to pull them all out and inspect them you can see the springs fell down in there And they look good actually, just a quick look. So we're inspecting them as we take them out here. And they're looking very good actually. Fiber steel, fiber steel. And they're looking excellent. So that's the fibers. Then we're gonna take the springs and the springs are every third groove here and inside the springs there's a pin so there's a pin inside of each one of these springs and so we got to get them all removed with their pins okay then we remove these here two bolts that are the brake piston that applies the brake to the PTO we pulled it off. There's a little wee bit of wear there, but we're not going to get excited about it. And the piston doesn't have any uh, rings on it. It's just a, a piston that gets applied with the oil volume. And so it all looks good. So we're just going to assemble it back together and uh, we're going to call it all good as far as the breaking of the PTO rule. So we'll reassemble it just like we took it apart. Okay, so we are have over or inspected the PTO pack and it all looks good. So we're ready to install it. So it's just a matter of putting it onto the output shaft in there. So that's where we're going. Uh, I'm backwards, ain't I? do it okay so we're ready to put the scotch yoke pump back in but before we do that we're going to clean the screen here on the intake so to clean the screen we have to take this little uh, lock off here and then there's a nut here
that we're going to uh, screw off here. We should have used a 916 socket, but we'll just use the pliers here because while we're videoing. So that's the nut that holds the screen up there. There's a little spring as well. And then we can remove the Okay, so we cleaned the filter with the solvent and blew it out, and so now we're ready to assemble it. There's an O-ring on here, and then the, the housing goes on, filter goes inside, a little... A spacer, ring, and gasket, a spring, and then the nut. So we put the O-ring, the washer, and not and now we're just snugging it up here and then we put the keeper back on just to keep it from uh, as a lock so it can't come apart okay so we got the auxiliary pump here that we're actually uh, that's our goal here to replace and so to replace it we have to remove these three bolts off the front and this allen screw here So we'll remove this Allen screw that goes back in right through the pump and then the two bolts that are in here and you have to watch that you don't lose the spacers here because we have to put these spacers back in when we're putting it back together. And so that allows us to Uh, and we actually have to take the little snap ring off here because the gear does not go through the housing. So we have to take this little snap ring off here so that the pump can come back out of the gear. Okay, this is our new pump. And so we're ready to put it on. We have to align it up here in this here gear here. and the little dowel at the bottom. And then we can put it together. So, we'll... so when we took the old pump off, it had a bolt that went right through. And so we had to throw this bolt away and use a new one inch Allen screw. And so it went in here and then we tightened the two bolts here on the front so that the three bolts that hold the pump on are all tight. Then we move the fittings from the old pump to the new pump and now we have the fittings in the new pump and this assembly is now complete and ready to go into the tractor. I also took these little uh, connector pipes and put them in this pump here from the old pump. So they're in here that I didn't talk about over there on the bench. So now we're ready to put this pump on the front of this pump because it's got to go in as an assembly. It, it can't go in totally separately. Okay, so we had a little bit of trouble getting this in and what we found in the end is we needed to put the PTO and the Scotch yoke pump in completely first and then the auxiliary pump will fit on after when we were trying to do it together we were hitting at the top here on this little elbow up here and the standpipe and when we did it the right way then it did go in as an assembly and then this went on properly afterwards so now we have the dowels in the scotch yoke pump and so we're going to put the nuts to fasten them solid now 
Okay, there's one bolt down here in the middle that I actually took out, and it is the dowel that holds the PTO assembly in place. And I took it out just to get clearance to get the plate back on. And so now we're putting the plate on with the six bolts, and then we put the dowel, align the dowel up with the hole and and tightened it. So that's what we're doing now. Okay, so we got the, you ready? Okay, so we got the tractor pushed just about together and then I was able to get in here and start the bolt into the pump. And now this is the mechanism that I'm using to tighten up that nut. We're now installing the lines, the pressure line here going to the side cover from the auxiliary pump. So we're doing that one on this end. On this end, we're tightening it up. And then I'll tighten up the nut on the washer. And then we'll install this little line on that goes to the PTO pack. Okay, so we were working on the lines in here. And for this last line, I had to modify my wrench here. So I had clearance down in here between the pump. Can you get the camera right down there? So I had clearance there to be able to tighten this nut down here. Okay, so this is the standpipe and we're gonna put it in the pump down there and push it in. And then we put the aligning bolts here for the top cover. So next we're gonna get the cover on the hoist and then let it down. Uh, we're putting oil in just before we put the cover on just to make it a lot easier than putting it through the filler. It's easier to put the first amount in just to fill it and then we'll top it up through the filler cap after. Okay, we actually put the uh, hydraulic auxiliary control on here with the levers. This is an assembly, we use the hoist, but if you're strong, you can just sit it on here and then we put the breakaways on back here on the differential. We're now installing the seat over top of the hydraulic plate here that we put on with the auxiliary valve. Okay, so we basically finished up here and we put the panel over top of the transmission and we put the steps on here and bolted them up with two bolts under there, two bolts here and a couple back there on the uh, strap there. And so we basically finished the overhaul of the auxiliary pump and checking the PTO.